arithmetic and geometrical sequences. You will find this on page 210 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Arithmetic and geometrical sequences or progressions. Two special sequences are arithmetic and geometric sequences. In an arithmetic sequence, or AP, the same value is added to each term to get the next term. For example, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, every time they add 3, because each step adds 3. 6, 2, negative 2, negative 6 is an arithmetic because each step subtract or add negative 4, doesn't matter. The number added to each term of an arithmetic sequence is called the common difference. If you subtract the values of any two uh, successive or consecutive terms, you will always get this common difference, okay, or terms that follow each other. So if you say the, the front minus the back, front minus the back, so T2 minus T1, T3 minus T2, then you will always get the same answer. Okay, you can actually test it here. If you say 6 minus 3, you get 3. If you say 9 minus 6, you get 3. If you say 12 minus 9, you get 3. So in a geometric sequence, or GP, each term is multiplied by the same value to get the next term. For example, 1, 3, 9, 27, 81 is a geometric because each term is multiplied by 3. And 32, 16, 18, 4, 2 is a geometric because each term is multiplied by half or divide by 2. The number by which each term is multiplied in a geometric sequence is called the common ratio. This was common difference, common ratio. Note, rather than dividing, we multiply by a fraction. If you divide the values of any two successive terms, you will always get the common ratio. Again, now, instead of subtracting, you're just going to divide, and every time you will get the same value. Can we test it? 3 divided 1 is 3. 9 divided 3 is 3. 27 divided 9 is 3. Okay, let's look at this one. So determine, so distinguish between arithmetic and geometrical sequences. Now, very important, as soon as they give you a sequence, you must first determine, is it an AP or is it a GP? Now, let's look at an example. Determine whether the following sequence are arithmetic or geometric and find the common difference or common ratio. So you just test this, if you get the same answer, it's an AP. You test this, if you get the same answer, it's a GP. So if I look at this one, um, if I say, okay, if I subtract, so it's in this case, it's negative 10 minus minus 25, just put your bracket, negative 25 minus minus 40, I get 15 every time. Oh, so it's an AP. In this one, if I subtract, no, 40 minus 2, it's 12. Oh, 98 minus 40, no, it's going to be much bigger. So it's not. But if I divide, 14 divide 2, then I will get 7. 98 divide 14, I will get 7. So in this case, it's a GP. It's not an AP. So this was an AP, not a GP. This B was a GP and not an AP. Okay. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number A as well as, let's just see, let me just choose one or two, G, A and B. I think it's enough. Okay. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. So let's look at number A. So in this case, it was 4, 2, 1, 0 0.5. So this is T1, T2, T3, T4. So in this case, if I'm going to start, so let's see, T2 minus T1, is it equal to T3 minus T2? Okay, let's do the test. So it's 2 minus 4. Is it equal to 1 minus 2? Oh, I don't think so. So if this is going to be negative 2, 
this is going to be negative 1, so it is not equal, so therefore not AP. Okay, but let's test it for a GP. So if we say T2 divide T1, is it equal to T3 divide T2? So T2, it's 2 divided by 4. Is it equal to 1 divided by 2? Oh, and that is correct. So, therefore, it is a GP. And that was number A. Okay, if I look at number B, So it's 4, 2, 0, negative 2, 1, 2, 3. Now again, this is T1, T2, T3, T4. Okay, let's start again. Let's say, let's see if T2 minus T1 will be equal to T3 minus T2. So this will be 2 minus 4. Is it equal to 0 minus 2? Negative 2 equals negative 2, yes. So therefore, um, it is an IP. Okay, and that's your answer. Now, so always first do this test and determine if it's an IP or a GP. Now, now this is just a little bit more. Uh, um, if you know, determine the values of x if I tell you this is a GP. Now, because I tell you it's a DGP, you start with, T3 divided T2 will be equal to T2 divided T1. And then you just do algebra. You cross multiply, you simplify, and you get x is 0 or x is 3. Okay. And determine the value of x if the sequence is an IP. Now let's just stop the video. Try to do this one. As soon as you are finished, you can continue the video. So this will be 2x plus 1, 3x plus 3, 7x minus 1. This is t1, t2, t3. So let's just see. Uh, so if it's an IP, then t2 minus t1 must be equal to t3 minus t2. So this will be 3x plus 3 minus 2x plus 1 Ooh. is equal to 7x minus 1 minus uh, t3, yes, t2, 3x plus 3. So this will be 3x plus 3 minus 2x minus 1 equals 7x minus 1 minus 3x minus 3. So, okay, let's just get all that x terms. Oh, I just want to mark it, otherwise it's too many. Okay. Okay, so this I will just get on one side. So this is 3x minus 2x minus 7x plus 3x will be equal to negative uh, 1, negative 3, this is negative 3, this is positive 1. So this one will be, this is 6 minus 9, so it will be negative 3x. Okay, and then I'm just going to go, in, this one will be negative 4, this is negative, this is negative 6. Yes, this is going to be negative 6. So I divide negative 3, divide negative 3, so therefore x will be equal to 2. Okay, and that's how you do it. In the next video, we will look at um, IPs and GPs. Um, I just think I want to just start with this, and then I will go into the next video into this. The general term in term of a sequence. If t in the general term of sequence is given, we can work out the value of any term of the sequence. t n is the value of the nth term of a sequence and can be represented by a formula which can be used to generate all the terms of the sequence. The first term of a sequence 
this is called A. The value of n indicates on the position of the term in the sequence. Therefore, n must always be a natural number. Okay, now if you look at this one, I just want to show you, this T3 is 20, it's what's standing in front if you are running a race. But n in this case will be 1 because this person is first. n in this case is 2, this person is second. n in this case is 3, okay? So n can only be a whole number, n cannot can only be a natural number. It cannot be negative. You cannot come negative second in a race. It cannot be a half. You cannot be two and a half position in the race. You are either one, two, three, and counting from there on. Okay. In the next video, we will look at the general term of an arithmetic progression.